I've played in Firefly, which is amazing, but I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's amazing. Am I cool yet, Ragan? I'm never cool. I'm sorry for asking. I'm sorry for troubling your day with my question. There's something I've been meaning to ask. What time is it? Why? Seriously, why are you doing this? Well, there's this chubby kid in North Carolina making me do it. He's talking to people over the internet. It's really sad. He masturbates to some very disturbing stuff. You watch him masturbate? I know all about your village and your master, and that explains some of it. What it doesn't explain is your drive, your strength. What gives you that? Well, steroids and, and ultra-advanced genetic testosterone, of course. I wonder if fate cast this burden upon you, or if... No, the fucker in North Carolina did, goddammit. I was fine getting drunk off my tits back at the dojo, but then this asshole had come along and made me into the hero. The fucker. I don't know, it'll be piss easy because I had the game on easy mode. I should probably change that. Nah. You people are obviously watching this for my wittingly hilarious commentary, right? Right? Why the concern? I knew men and women who were drawn to the Lotus Assassins. They went into that place to prove themselves, as you intend to. I'm actually just going in there to, you know, get my master. And the few who made it back out were different. They were wearing different clothes. I didn't understand why. Christian Bale. Different how? They acted like they didn't know us, or just didn't care if we lived or died. It's hard to say if there's even a difference to the Lotus Assassins. Scientologists? I know you'll be fine. The that wasn't good. That wasn't. No, that was terrible. I mean, I hate Scientology, and that joke was awful. I'm so. I apologize for that joke. If I could erase its existence, I well, I technically can, but I'd have to erase everything I just said. I need to skip. I'm. I'm rambling. That's all in the future, though. We should keep it what we're doing. There's a lot left to tackle before we're done. Yeah, I got some targets set up over there, man. Let's let's throw some brewskis and do this. The tackling targets, by the way, it's it's a football joke. No one's gonna get it. I'll talk to you later, Sky. No, I won't. I don't care that you're here. Yes. How can this humble bun <laughs> He humbly bakes buns and he cannot lie. Wait, he he does lie a lot. Why did you marry your wife if she's so so difficult? Like many things in my life, it can be traced back to very bad luck on my part. As I mentioned once before. I was a master of the drunken master style. Mm-hmm. I was the tournament champion in Phoenix Gate when things spun out of control. My need for wine took its toll on my body. There are long periods I don't even remember. They're known as the 80s. After one such period, I came to, having lost most of my clothes and all my money. There was also a scar down my back. Don't want to know how that got there. Wine is a dangerous companion. Eventually, I found work cleaning out creature cages at the local arena. One day, I was approached by a man who remembered seeing me fight. He offered to sponsor me. Just like that, I was back in the ring. After climbing my way back to the top of the tournament, my sponsor told me it was time to fulfill my end of the bargain. I guess you really owed him after that. Apparently, the agreement stipulated that I must marry his niece. If only I had read the agreement more closely, I could still be shoveling dirt in the creature cages. Damn, you're my wife. Has to be some kind of satanic evil bitch. Bioware commentates on life stories. I miss when Bioware was good. Why did you become a bun master if you were a master fighter? You're beginning to sound like my wife. <laughs> Where were you last night? Why were you talking to that woman? Why do you smell like a goat? Always with the question. Well, you did fuck a goat. As I mentioned earlier, after becoming tournament champion for the second time, I was forced to marry my sponsor's new bio niece. She is the reason I no longer fight. I feel so far my sorry for you. My dove did not care for my drinking or for my friends. Or my fighting, or my friends fighting. She believed I should settle down, 
be more respectable. <laughs> what an evil bitch. You need to learn to stand up for yourself. At first I ignored her rebukes and continued fighting, but I soon learned that she was Why is Sky staring at me longingly? I'm gonna have to back away from this because I'm paranoid he's just gonna lunge on my ass and go to town. I'm paranoid he might do it to my crotch, but wait, the, which would hurt worse? I'll go on my side. You're whipped, my friend. I spent the next several months under the tender ministrations of my doting wife. Needless to say, when I was well enough to walk again, I was more than happy. To Stop staring at me, Sky! God damn it! why I became a bond master. Well, it's a thankless job that keeps me very, very busy. Very busy. <laughs> That's all for now. As you say, I will be here scrubbing your pots until you call upon me again. What? Okay. Just... Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, that worked. Black Whirlwind, you stay between me and him. You must go to the... Anything personal? I don't understand. You've gained the favor of the Lotus Assassins with a fair amount of ease. What else is there to speak of? Oh, we could talk about the weather. Is there something you are wondering? Ooh, I'm wondering what's under that dress. That's not a dress. Oh god, now Black Whirlwind's staring at us. I swear to god, if he starts masturbating, I'm cutting the game off and never playing it again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I tape it and masturbate to it vigorously. Tell me about yourself. I want to know more about you. About me? I am Princess Sun Lian, the Heavenly Lily. What more are you worthy of knowing? Wow, what a stuck-up bitch. Tell me about your childhood. I do not remember ever being allowed to just be a child. My mother died when I was born, shortly before the end of the long drought and the fall of my uncles. I was in the care of She has a pretty depressing backstory. This entire lore does, damn. Useful, I quickly found ways to sneak away from the palace. She became a ninja. They dared not report my experience for fear they would be punished. They would scurry around all day trying in vain to find me. Wow. Isn't that a dangerous thing for a young girl to do? Yes, it was. I didn't fully understand the risk and made some mistakes. But in the end, what I have become is a result of that. Well, good on you. In the city, I met the people. The peasants, the homeless, the thieves. It was a much different world from what you see from the palace. They never realized who I was. I'm sure they would have been terrified of the army storming in to rescue <laughs> me. Most just wanted to be left alone. Yeah, poor people aren't that life was exciting. cannibals. Was so Even Lotus assassins overlook the beggar on the street. But she still has eyes and ears. Mm-hmm. Oblivion taught me that. Tell me about your first love. You announce your questions like a wild animal with no warning of the claws you unleash. Proceed slowly, lest you turn me away. I don't know what the hell you just said, but it turned me on. Tell me about Silk Fox. Ah, the shadow behind my public self. How else can a curious princess learn what really happens in her domain? I don't have time to interpret the veiled statements of advisors, so I became a thief, an assassin, whatever I needed to be. People will not speak to the princess. Bad news kills Sorry. the messenger first. So Fox knows how to persuade. That is how I learned about the activities of Death's Hand. Huh. No one notices that you're gone for such lengthy periods? There are many excuses for a vain princess to retreat from sight for days, even weeks at a time. My father encourages such getaways. It actually does make a lot of sense. And if courtiers ever discovered that I was not where I said I would be, who would dare question the Heavenly Lily? Again, a very valid point. I may eschew the formality of it, but being the daughter of the Emperor still has its privileges. Eh, if you work with what you got. Tell me about your time at court. I do not like to speak about that. I try to avoid the court as much as possible. It is filled with sycophants pandering to the fancies of my father, with little or no concern to their own dignity. One guy did a funny dance. It is distasteful. <laughs> They're cooking. It's horrible. I think you would do well at court. I 
can handle myself better than any of the fancy courtiers who attempt to match me. I know that someday the court will be mine to rule. <laughs> when I succeed my father, there will be quite a cleaning out. But with Death's hand manipulating him, that day seems less and less likely. We will prevail, Prince Princess. Nothing else matters. We need to stay focused on what is important, and that is exposing Death's hand. Nothing else, nothing else matters. Okay, you can stop repeating Metallica lyrics. I think we are through here. Wait, did I just dump her? I... Holy shit, I think I just dumped her. Do not hesitate. Wait a second. I'm not doing it again. Shit, I didn't mean to save. I meant to lo turn it off and load. Oh well, this is Destiny's way of tell or yeah, Destiny's way of telling me to um just go with the flow. We're not gonna have a three way. Um, I'll make up for it by being on camera shirtless in two months. Yeah, that'll happen. I promise. In two months. May 1st, 2013. The day Fallout appeared on camera shirtless. And the day several oh, ladies' ovaries exploded. Right. Yeah, we're ignoring him. If you want to see the side quest, you should really pick up this game on Steam. It's a little bit of trouble to get it running if you don't know what you're doing. But if you know what you're doing, you should be fine. Plus, it might be on GOG. I don't think it's on GOG. It's probably not on GOG. Nah.